Hello and welcome to my 18th tutorial. In this tutorial we will do a fun project and create a simple snake game in C++. This game will not involve classes, so it will not be object oriented. It's just a simple snake game just to have fun. The first thing you should do when making games generally or something that's similar to games, you should make a few functions. The first function should be setup, the second draw, the third input, and the fourth logic. So every function will do something. So let's start. You're going to just create these functions, the blank functions. Sorry for the typos. We are going to have one variable that will be global and it will be boolean. It's going to be game over. In the setup function we are going to say that game over will be false. So and in the main function we are going to call a setup function first open a while loop and while it's not game over we are going to run draw then input and logic so the snake game is a simple game i probably or you already know how to play it you have a snake head, snake tail, and you control the head, it goes up, down, left, right, and the tail follows. You eat the fruit, your tail increases, if you hit the tail with your head or uh, you hit the wall of the map, uh, you will die. So we need uh, a few things in our game. We made a basic skeleton for games. That will mostly be good. Also, sorry for not mentioning uh, immediately, you can add here a sleep function, for example, 10 milliseconds, and on Linux, you're gonna type it like this. The sleep function slows our game a little bit, but we will not implement it at the moment. So, a uh, few things in Snake game that you need to know. Um, we need to use the variables for the map dimensions. So we're gonna create a constant int values. It's gonna be width. And we're gonna to initialize it to 20 blocks. And it's gonna be height. And it's gonna be 20 blocks. So the map will have those dim dimensions. Um, now uh, we need variables for our head position x and y and we also need the variables for the fruit position they will hold the coordinates so our coordinate system is 20 by 20 also we need a score variable that that's optional and um, we need to track the direction of the snake. So, you know, when you press, for example, A, the snake will go uh, left. Uh, and the snake will go constantly left. You do not need to press A multiple times in order to move it left. So, we need to somehow track the direction. So, when we uh, press the keys, we're going to change the dura direction of the snake. Uh, and we're going to use enumeration for this. It's, um, it's typed like this, enum and we're gonna call it direction and it can have only the values from here so we're gonna say stop is the first value it's gonna be equal to zero the second is left right up and down and we're going to also make a variable in direction there that will hold the direction of the snake so in the setup, we are going to say that uh, the direction is going to equal to stop. So the snake will not move until we start moving it. 
Um, we can set the position of the head uh, like uh, let's say x is gonna be um, width divided by 2 so it will be on the middle and height divided by 2 so the snake head will be centered on the map uh, for the fruit, we should randomly place it somewhere, somewhere on the map. So we are going to say fruit, random, and mod the width. So this will create a random number from um, 0 to uh, width minus 1. And um, fruit. Rand. So we've made the basic, oh yes, uh, we can set the score to zero also. So let's get on with drawing. In the draw method, we should draw a map. The first thing we should do is to clear the screen. So we're going to use, as we make, we're making a game in the console uh, window. Uh, it's going to flicker a little bit, but um, it will do the job for now. So we're going to use the system and call the Windows command CLS that will cl clear the screen. If you're on Linux, you should type system clear. And that will clear your console window terminal. Now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna um, display the top, um, top border of our map with this. So, with I plus plus and we're gonna print this will be a character for the map wall the top wall we're, we're printing top wall with this also we're gonna do that for the bottom wall it's the same code code and yes we should move to the next line and now we are going to here is a good Thing to move to the next line also and here we are going to um, print the map so let's do it like this for and i is going to go to zero until it's the i is going to be a height and the j is going to be width so we need two for loops it's just like printing a matrix and this will oh sorry and this will print the map so how are we going to print the map in the inner j for loop we are going to check if it's a first um if it's a first field so if we have a map something like this for example map should look like this so if it's if j is equal to zero that's the first character we are going to print this this character so we're going to print the wall character and if it's not zero we are going to um, print we're going to print a blank space and if j is equal to j is equal to width minus one because we go to width minus one we're going to print the wall on the next side and this will print our print our walls so when we run a program oh we have some build errors oh yeah i should have deleted this when we run our program now, uh, we get something that's not good. Uh, probably I made a mistake somewhere. So yes, we should just do it like this without the else. Nope, nope. Huh. Mm. It doesn't work like that. So I guess, oh yeah, we don't print the end line here. 
we need to go to the next line. So when we exit this loop, this is printing the first row only. And when we exit the rows only, and when we exit the rows, we should get something like that. And notice that it flickers a little bit. And also, uh, we have some characters missing. Because we printed 20 spaces, uh, we need to add two more characters and one character for the wall, the right wall, and one character for the left wall. We need to add some characters here. So we're going to fix this by doing plus two, plus two on the width. And now when we run the program, it will be good. Okay, um, we'll finish this tutorial here. And in the next tutorial, we are going to uh, improve our drawing uh, method so we can print the fruit and print the snake head. And we'll move to the movement. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. See you in the next part.